What's up, guys? Thanks for joining us today for the show. It is Tuesday, June 3rd. I'm Haley Harmon along with Nash FM 92.9's Deidre Ransdell. Hey. What's up, girl? Hey, I'm loving the purple. Thank you so much. I really like it. Thank you so Very much. Very pretty. Thank you. It's, yeah, I feel like I, you know those random colors you don't really wear that often, and then when you do, you're like, why don't I wear this more often? I yeah. feel like purple's just kind of a random color. It is random, but it's so. nice, and it's kind of springy slash summery. You're yeah, ready. That's right, you're and ready. you're in mourning. I am, apparently. Uh, yes. That's what I was asked as I was mm -hmm. at the radio station. They said, are you going to a funeral today? I said, no, I'm going to do TV with Haley. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate it. I'm dead inside. <laughs> I love it. Could Le be. The only reason I pointed out, Lee makes f used to make fun of me because I wear black all the time. Uh -huh. Like, I yeah. just love it. It's Something just about it. It's easy. just you can it's put easy. It, it is easy. You yeah. can put any pieces together and you oh, look fab. So I love right. your outfit. Well, I think thank you. you look fabulous. Thank you very much. Hey, no problem. Uh, before we get going, I do want to um, answer a couple of your questions. I've been getting a lot of emails this week. A lot of people saying, hey, is Deidre the permanent replacement? What's going on with the show? I've replied to a couple of you, but if you're wondering at home, I know we've been kind of silent on this. It's because we don't have any answers for you right now. Nothing. We, yes. But there so. have been more meetings than have ever been held in the history of of media. That's right. I love meeting. I love it. I don't get to go to any of them. You don't. No. no. So mm -hmm. um, once we have a permanent decision, <laughs> you guys will hear about it first on just kind of the direction of the show. So I know you guys are all wondering. Um, I wish we had answers, but we don't at this time. We're still just going day by day and getting through the day and doing the show for you guys. But just did want to address that really quick. No permanent decisions have been made at this time, but we'll let you know. But I am in charge of bringing Pop-Tarts each and every day. Oh my and gosh. that is something that I did sign up for and mm -hmm. I've committed to and I will continue to bring the Pop-Tarts. Yes, I love it. I love mm -hmm. it so much. Uh, we've got a jam-packed show for you today. Coming up, um, it is Tuesday, so we've got this week's half-off dining deal. Uh, today's featured restaurant is the Brown Barrel, located in Midway. Have you been there yet? I have not, but I saw the food yeah. that they have gotten prepared for us today, and I'm telling you, I am ready to go. Uh, same. It smells so good in the green room right now. I can't wait for you guys to see it. You're going to be blown away. It's awesome. Yes, and the best part is, yeah, if you haven't been there, like we haven't, and I'm so pumped to try them today and so pumped to actually go try the restaurant. You can get it for 50% off. That's the half off dining deal. So you got to stay with us throughout the show to learn the details and we'll tell you when to uh, look that deal up online. And Let's Get Fit Week continues. Today we're talking all about simple ways to up your nutrition. That's something we can always think about. Absolutely. Just, a, you know, just little changes you can make and things like that because. And they're easy to do. They are. The yes. changes that we're talking about today, we can all pull off. Mm -hmm. No panic. Because I, I think like for me, if I'm ever trying to lose a little bit of weight or just try to be better I get overwhelmed because I feel like I have to be perfect in every way oh, yeah. I have to go to the gym at this time and this day and I have to eat all this it's just stressful and, and if you can take that stress out it really helps and there are so many different places where you get ideas and you see lists and you think oh I've got to remember this yeah. entire list and these are the things that I'm supposed to be eating and my husband came in the other day and he had a list of things that are anti-inflammatory nice and he was going through all of this well here's what you need here's what we need to have all these and I said how many times have we printed that exact same list oh no <laughs> he's the like same oh. list over and over again stop telling me about it yeah either eat the cinnamon and the ginger in the stuff or don't or but don't, don't talk to me again and I just want to live my inflamed lifestyle <laughs> that's right. just because we're puffy doesn't mean we're bad that's right that's I mean that's <laughs> the whole point of this show is to you'll get that see. point across to one you. of these days yes. you'll be our age. and we are so pumped today we're going to be joined by pro golfer and last year's winner of the Barbasol championship Troy Merritt he's going to be with us today because the tournament is back here again in Kentucky this year and we're going to chat all about it and about his big win last year that'll be awesome I literally cannot believe the Barbasol is back again. I, I feel know. like it was like two months ago. I know, but you know what? The neat thing is, is that it is such a big event, and mm -hmm. we get to plug right into it here in Lexington. It is so cool to have a, an event of that magnitude mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, And to have the winner with us. I know. I, you're are kind we? of a big deal is I what I'm thinking. I think that we are. Yeah. I think we are. I don't know. Um, okay, before we get going, I want just to do a little shout out. This is not sponsored, but I wish it was. Can we get sponsors? <laughs> I would love that. Are you a big sunscreen gal? Yeah. Are you? Same. Mm -hmm. And oh, I, yeah. my mom always made me wear it when I was a kid. Then I went through that really stupid phase when I was in high school and early college of like, no, I don't, I don't need it because I want to get tan. Haley, like, no. Um, I've just gotten really back into sunscreen and I've discovered a new product that has like changed my world. What is it? It is a makeup setting spray and it's by the brand Super Goop. And so when you, ladies, if you're out there, sorry men, if you're watching Super this, good. or if you wear makeup too, you do you. Um, <laughs> it, you, it's a setting mist, so you spray it on after you do your makeup, but okay. it has sunscreen in it. So you can oh. reapply sunscreen in the middle of the day 
on top of your makeup because I always thought, well, my moisturizer in the morning has sunscreen in it. I don't need to reapply throughout the normal day. No, just a few hours later, it's you have gone. no sunscreen yeah. on your face. Can I spray some on you? Please do. I promise it leaves like no residue whatsoever, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> ah. I'm feeling so fabulous. Uh, right? right? It smells really and good. And I like that it just sounds like I'm about to spray paint something. Yeah, Here I'm glad. I come, graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't put your name on my forehead right. or something. No, I'm Banksy, in case you haven't <laughs> heard. Oh, amazing. Anyway, I know that's so that's random. Cool. Super good. But summer's here. You need to be thinking about sunscreen. It is super important no matter what age you are. And this is like my new favorite product. Like I'm just, you'll find me anywhere just spraying. They're and like, you just took care of me for the day. Thank you, Haley. You're welcome. That'll be $12 a spray. I have been super gooped. You've been super gooped. Okay. <laughs> Our first story we want to talk about today, let's talk Jeopardy. The longest winning streak in Jeopardy history is intact. James Holzhauer lost in yesterday's episode, even though he got the final question correct. After winning 32 straight games and taking home more than $2 million, bucks, Holzhauer couldn't beat Ken Jennings' 2004 record. Jennings won 74 games and topped 2.5 million. Holzhauer was only $58,000 away from eclipsing Jennings' winnings. Going into final jeopardy, Holzhauer was lagging behind Emma Botcher, who you just saw there, uh, by 3,000. Both got the final question right, but Emma's big $20,000 wager put her ahead in the end. And now, if he had wagered as much as he possibly could have, yeah. he still would have lost by $1. Oh, really? So okay. what he did was structure so he didn't come in last place okay. because he had to still beat the third place person. And if they had wagered all they could have, they would have been mm -hmm. $1 ahead of him if he had lost. And that, so he figured it out and uh, did the numbers and still won to get in, sec to get in second yes, place. Yes, I do have so. a big announcement. D uh, Deidre is our permanent Jeopardy. <laughs> It just she's gonna break it down for us. Thank you very Literally, much. Literally, that was amazing because I don't. There's so much strategy that there's goes into that. It's not just getting the questions right. That alone I can't do. So I don't even think about the wager. Well, I've got to yeah. tell you, Scott Johnson from um, the Jack Patty Morning Show. Yeah. He is the news director, and Scott Johnson was on Jeopardy. What? How? Yes, he was. How? Because he's that smart. He has a vat of useless information in his brain. I have never known someone who had so much useless information as just, Scott Johnson. Just the he, use of the word vat alone. It's, it's I'm like, vat. it's negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's got, he's got stuff trapped in there and mm -hmm. you ask who sang a song by this, you know, there, and he knows who recorded that he yeah. produced it. He's crazy with he, knowledge. He's one of those people that say like, I'd have a wealth of useless information. He does. Well, if you go on Jeopardy, it's useful because you can make big money. Yes. 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 I feel like a lot of people, though, this guy that was on Jeopardy, were like, had gotten to the point where they were like, okay, can this guy lose already? Well, the thing that I thought was so neat is that Alec Tre Alex Trebek liked him. Oh, really? Because I thought oh, at good. first Alex didn't like him. Yeah. And he, he kind of can't hide it sometimes. He's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's. He's not putting up with you if you're not really into it. But. Yeah, he's been around the block. He's like, I've seen your kinds before yeah. on this show. <laughs> Video of a Michigan man going on a jog is making its way around the internet. Look at this. Jared Wine was out for a run on Sunday when three deer came out of nowhere and joined in on his race, even keeping pace with him. When he stopped, they stopped. When he turned, they turned. This went on for about a half a mile, and he videoed the whole thing. Wine says the deer were great running mates. He says he's not sure if he's ever run with that much pressure and energy before. So that would be overwhelming. I, I cannot imagine oh, I know. having the deer come along because that would be pressure filled. Well, and usually they're running away from you. I'm a little shocked that <laughs> they were running with him. Well, maybe they thought he had like some corn in his back pocket. How I avoid this is I don't run. It's best. You know what I mean? It's really best, but not yes. really because it's legs get fit weak. That's right. <laughs> That's right.